Hello and welcome back. Even noticed her small companion looked like he had something he wanted to say. Well, of course. Uh, I like you, Dicey. What would you ask? We both cursed and dream. I don't care if you don't know your past. I know who you are now. My friend. You're my friend, right? We're helping people. Remember that. You're strong, but you're not scary. You're good. Moving those statues, just because you can do things that others can, doesn't mean you're bad. If you want the truth, then yes. No, well, I think you're like family. You weren't scary. You wasn't scary. I think it's Honestly, I think you meet some family when you're born, and others you meet later on, when you're both ready. And I can agree with that. Hello, Nishka. I've got things for you. What were we talking about again? I have the pinky from the Count. That finger? It reminds me of something. It was the fight with the... the King, and he... and I... and we... Ugh, I... I'm afraid it's gone. But it's become clearer. Bring me more. I need more to remember. I have another item. What were we talking about again? I've been to the dude that he gave me this portrait. Oh, that portrait! Of the children, the triplets, and their father, their poor father, the king, killed, killed while I, while he, ah, uh, I can't remember. I need more, more objects to jog my poor memory. What were we talking about again? Uh, the Baroness gave me your old arm. My arm? I remember. I wore this. I used this to help defend the king when he... On that night when he... But then it... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Please bring me more objects. I'm so close to remembering. I can feel it. What were we talking about again? I found a weapon that killed the king. By the dice maker. I remember this. It came for us so quickly, so savage, we couldn't... Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue and then it's gone. It's... I'm sorry, even. What were we talking about? The murder weapon. Please, even. Bring me Ooh. more artifacts. They each help, but together I'm but sure I can... Items. I'm sure... Yes, even. You've... Oh, okay. You've done it. <laughs> Seeing them all together, I... I remember everything. Oh, by the dice maker, you've saved me! All right, which one of you pranksters rang the bell? I knew it was a trap! Assassins! Oh, trap. Ah, shush, children! Nishka! You're alive! You should all be ashamed to have disgraced your father's beloved freedom so, and how proud he was of you. But bloody this is just not how he raised you. <laughs> Listen, I was there that doomed night when your father was murdered. And Nishka the bodyguard recounted vividly what had happened that night. It was a tale of a god lady gone awry, of a blade against mechanical arm, and of a cold-blooded murder. I was going to roll my dice. Well, that's how fights were done in those days. But this murderer didn't play by the rules. My trusty arm was cut off. I returned the favor and tore off the perpetrator's finger. And that perpetrator was the Shadow Man. Busted. Oh, hey, even there you are. I should have been there to guide you all. 
I went mad with guilt for failing your father, and I ran away. I am so sorry. Ahem. It appears that this war might have been for naught. This war was all because you three never talked to each other? You people are the worst! Thanks for the outfit, Bernie. You think you'll be okay now? Sure thing. I can find my way home to one cross with my eyes closed. Easy peasy. Don't worry, even. I'll make sure he gets home. And good luck to you. Uh, I'm not good at goodbyes. Say hi to Odd. Oh, I almost forgot. You like pips, right? This is all that was left of Mr. Shady when you poofed him. Weird, huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey, hey guys. All right. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Well, now we have to find Seymour. Hmm. Oh, a little master's ball. <gasps> okay, 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 that's new. Hmm. Maybe Seymour will be in five town. Five, no, four. <laughs> I skipped one. Or are we going there with Derek to the six? Hmm. Dicey! Wait! mind I guess We won't find Seymour now here. Oh. oh, I didn't think it was possible, but I ate too much candy. Oh, hi. Are you happy here? I'm full of candy here, so yes. I'm going to save my sister. Without candy? How are you gonna save anyone without candy? Do you have candy? We had lots of candy in Five Tropolis, but not anymore. Uh, you were in. I don't have any candy. How are you gonna save anyone without candy? Weren't you in. No. I'm scared. Well, you somehow look monstrous. You're welcome. Uh, yes, this is Bernard. <clears throat> Uh, 
it's not even Hercules. Oh, I can see. Yeah, now we can pull us in. Great, great, fantastic, wonderful. And likely he can't fall down. So this is foolproof. We have yep, we have our slingshot. Razor stakes with a new card! What are you doing here? This one as well. Many Puppies, kittens, rainbow. Oh. Whoa! I'm thinking happy thoughts, so I don't remember reality. My mom taught me that back in Fort Town. She grew up during the war, the big one. I miss her so much. I thought this would be fun, but, <laughs> but lemonade on a hot day, getting tucked into bed, a nice warm blanket on a cold night. I'm scared too. That makes me feel a bit better. Do you That's have good. any happy thoughts? I think about the future better than today. Things being better forever. That's a happy thought. Things being better forever! With ice cream and puppies and hugs and moms and dads and families and cookies and kittens and cookies shaped like kittens and made out of ice cream! Okay. I heard... They have unicorn ponies in Six Town. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm Nanny Fortuna's favorite, so I'm the most important kid. Good for you. Yes, it is good for me. I always knew I was a Sixer, and finally, the rest of the world is acting like it. Honestly, some so of the so kids red. here, you can put them in a Sixer uniform, but you can't change who they are. And wait a minute, even, even, it's me, Lucky from One Town. What are you doing here? I'm not doing anything, Sneaky. Um, you clearly are. What's going on? Wait a second. You're not even 12 yet. You're too young to be here. You're an imposter. Okay, let me get something right. I have a twin sister, but I'm not... She's 12, but I'm not 12 yet. No, you listen, even. I rolled the quince dice to get here, and you're... You're a cheater. You don't belong here. You're an imposter. You're an imposter. I'm telling. Nanny. Nanny for tuna. Nanny for tuna. Roar! What now? Hey, dice. Impossible. The queen destroyed them all. Where did you find that? Tell me. No, you tell me where my sister is, you witch. <laughs> you are the sister, aren't you? All alone, far from home. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Do you mind destroying these because it seems like you don't have? I think that's the way. Over here. Oh. What are you doing? That's a bomb. Oh, a really big orange there. That. Give me that. Give me that. Where's the use it? 
I can put it. Little boys and little girls, turn your teeth to Nanny's pals. Oh, this is. I see gold. I will be able to play one more thing if I do that. Which really doesn't matter, so let's put this here. Okay. Well, I have a dream. This game wasn't supposed to be scary. Two so sisters, pretty. both alike in dignity. But within one woman lies dark malignity. Fun and games till one is gone. Some creeping darkness lately spawned. And last. Death and ruin for those who oppose. As went the sister, so the whole world goes. is necessary but i don't want to the dice demands it sometimes we must set aside what we want in order to get what we need push her over odd push her over or i'll let the dice decide whether you should take her place odd please i'm sorry i was mean to you and your sister odd please you can't do this you can't you're running out of time odd 
Yeah, we'll have to kill her. Oh well. We need to get more bombs. In the meantime, I was looking whether we were twins or not, because I'm fairly sure they said we are twi twins. Mm. Odd! Odd! Oh. Why, do you, why did you do... Dicey? Dicey! Even knew she had to find her missing friend. She gathered her courage, square her shoulders, and... I just want to go home. <sighs> and realized that she just wanted to go home. Oh, but home was very far away. She had no idea how to get there. Right, I guess. Right hand. Mm -hmm. An echo, echo. <gasps> don't, don't. from here <laughs> oh, we can dodge a little bit found herself approaching the edge of Forberg, or rather, the silent remains of that once glorious city. The queen had torn it to pieces during the war, years ago, in her mad search for... something. The only trace of it at all were the ruined and lifeless stones, shrouded in fog, lost to memory. Even it was like an impossible vision, something she could scarcely believe. Oh, of the built fort town, 
squatting by the ruins of what came before, a city without history. But who called it home? I guess they're safe from the spiders that take children. If no one knows they are in here. Sure, cool, 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 cool. Step right up, step right up. Will it unleash upon these fighting grounds? What rules and norms will it tear asunder as its true power is finally unleashed? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> when I roll them bones! Oh, why isn't it doing anything? Come on, give it a kick! Without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, and a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble. You wanna come? Where's he? Ladies and gentlemen, the death match is about to begin. Please, mm, give me a bomb. Mm, yeah. No, we don't have any. Actually, it's good. But when you lose, I get you both. That's no fair! That's life in former kid.
the sword. Ah, the sword. that this wasn't even a dice after all. What we have here is just a broken old jack-in-the-box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. Bother them. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here, and I just, I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? No. Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of Random. Y you trust me, right? Person smuggler. Smuggler, runner, pirate, pathfinder, it's all the same thing, just with a different coat of paint. And I'm the best there is at doing it. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. What makes your bag so special? It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I mean, I can. So you have my brother, holding. Bruno, I lost him to the high roller, who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you, well, you've got yourself a real dice, which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that, and I'll be real motivated to do you a favor in turn. Let's see, and I just fall in and we lost. Because you don't have enough pips. Any fool can see that. Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his, and he'll lose everything. You just gotta fix your dice up. Mm, it's already bitter me and the dice. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna okay. let that stand? Take revenge, show him who's boss, solve both our problems in one fell swoop, fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag and me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. And can you fix my dice? No. Even had no idea where she could find more darts for her dice. So she fell back to exploring. It had gotten her this far at least, which, if we're being precise, is to a point where she no longer wanted to explore. Hmm. Uh, look, uh, life's complicated sometimes. Yeah, we're gonna end this part here. So, for now, thank you very much, Stealing, and see you soon. Bye!